Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless each and everyone again once more joining in the name of Jesus. This amazing prophetic word title says, it in your room, take it out soon because there is an urgent meeting. It in your room, take it out now as soon as possible. This is not a word for you to screw family. There is something that I'm going to be exposing and revealing through this prophetic word. And God is asking you to take this out. Because as long as you allow this particular thing in your house, praise Master Jesus, it will call evil attention, it will call evil spirit, it will call things that are not good in the mighty name of Jesus. Once more, before we move forward, I want to use this medium opportunity to thank all my lovely family. May God bless you all, family, in the name of Jesus. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for always liking and sharing our prophetic word for in Jesus' name. The Lord just laid this word in me now to record this amazing prophetic word. When I was praying, the Lord told me to record this word for someone. I'm not here to motivate somebody, but I believe if you can hear my voice and you're connected in the spirit, you will know that no man of God, you're talking to me. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Uh, if this is your first time, God bless you. Make sure you're subscribing, you're liking, you're sharing for in Jesus' name. When we read in the book in the Bible, there is a parable where Jesus said, My house is a house of prayer, not the dens of robbers. When Jesus met the people, doing business in the house of God. Jesus got angry and said, my house is a house of prayers. So what I want us to know now, praise Master Jesus, is that the house which God was talking about is not all about a normal building. This house was this body. That is why the Bible says our temple is the whole, is a, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So if you cannot make this house, this temple, the place of the Holy Spirit, it becomes a house of business. It becomes, when it becomes a place of business, it becomes a dance of robber. That's why whenever you see you go to the market, there are a lot of transactions, both good and bad, evil and all things, because it's a place of business. That is the reason why the moment you take the things of God as a business place, it becomes a dance of robbers. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So this particular prophetic word is asking you to remove this. What is that particular thing that you must remove? Things that you have put in your house that are occupying space for nothing. Things that you have in your house that are occupying space for nothing. I know somebody will just picture my fridge, my bed, my chair, my TV, my this. No. Those are material things. Things that you have put in this heart, this house, that are occupying you for nothing. As a young lady, you're believing God for marriage. The moment you occupy your life with different, different boyfriends, you have about 10 boyfriends that you're dating. Don't ask God again for marriage. Why? Because you have already occupied yourself. Hallelujah. You have made yourself a place of business which will become a dance of robbers. Because you are not specific, you don't know the direction you're taking and, and you don't know where you're going. The moment you make yourself a house of prayers, those things cannot live in you. So the Lord laid this word in me to record that there are people that have made their house a veins of thieves and a veins of robbers. Don't focus on, on, on the physical house. Focus on this house. I'm talking about this house. The moment you can pray, you make yourself a lazy Christian that you will just be running behind prophecy. The, a lazy Christian is like a woman who don't want to work, that she just wants to go out and eat men's money. A man cannot give you money without plan B. Any man that is spending money on you has their plan B. The moment you're running only after prophecy, what keeps the prophecy is the foundation which is the word of God. Our body has become dense of robbers. Why? Because we have become so lazy. What are those things 
that have made us to become lazy in the body of Christ? What are those things that have made us not to pray? Is it that work that you cannot create time to pray? Is it the husband that God gave you, or let me just say God gave you, that you don't want to pray? What is that particular thing that have quenched down your fire? The moment your fire is being quenched down, you become the danes of rubber. The Bible says, when a demon is being cast out from a man, the demon goes to the desert. Other version says, in dry places, seeking for rest. If the demon finds no rest, he will come back and check his house, his house where he was living. If the house is unkept, dirty, he goes back, pick seven demons, then they will come and enter there. What does it mean? What is there any pastor in the desert? Is there any pastor in the wilderness? No. The desert alone is more than a prophet and more than a pastor. You don't need to become a pastor or a prophet. You just need to make yourself to become as a desert. Have you ever been in the desert? A desert is an uncomfortable place. I went in the desert once to go and pray. I prayed for two hours. It was as if I've been there throughout the day. Because of heat, I was there alone. Every place was white, dust. It was uncomfortable. My spirit was not even there. Even in the mountain is better. That, that in the mountain, you can see tree. You can see somewhere that is quiet. The desert is too hot. I had to run for my life because the place is uncomfortable. So the desert has made it itself uncomfortable for any demon to live there. So the desert is already like a pastor. The desert is already like a prophet. If you can make yourself uncomfortable as the, the desert, remove all these things that have made you to become cold, that have made you to become a dance of thief, a dance of robbers. Oh, everything can live in you. Immorality can live in you. Fornication can live with you in you. A lot of things without no conscience. Nothing you do it openly. There is no spirit telling you. Just know that your house has become a dance of robbers. The moment you allow those things, those things will come and go. They will allow things. They will steal things away from you. Have you ever seen a woman that goes through the process of prostitute for two years and for, for ten years and she is the same? She can never be the same. No matter how she look at herself and say, I am the same neighbor. Because there are things that have left her. There are things. The moment she was exchanging her life in that process, it becomes a dance of robber. She made herself for the robbers to use her. But I pray for somebody in the name of Jesus. No plan of the enemy will take anything that belongs to you. I want us to pray. Child of God, you are going to drop this comment. Hallelujah. That I let go everything that I've made my life to become a dance of robbers. See, I let go today whatever thing that I've made my life to become a dance of robbers. I let go whatever thing that has met my body, my house, this temple, have become a dance of robbers. I let go. I let it go. As you drop this comment, let that comment, comment be an answer prayer for you. Receive your deliverance, for in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.